Today we're doing lesson 4.26, module 4, lesson 26. And as it says, your learning goal today is to divide a unit fraction by a whole number. Talk to your table group. How is this the same or different as our learning goal from Thursday and Friday? As I heard many groups say, today we're dividing a unit fraction by a whole number, whereas last week we were dividing a whole number by a unit fraction. Last week, what was our whole? Was it a whole number or a fraction? Whole number. Whole number, and then our divisor was a unit fraction. Today, our unit fraction is our what? Whole. Is our whole, and our the whole number is the divisor. divisor. See how it's just backwards? Okay, very good. Let's first talk about the problem of the day. So let's first skip count by fourths. Go, one fourth. Okay, let's stop there. Now, I wrote down what you guys counted. Can we simplify any of these fractions? Yeah. This time we're going to start at one fourth again, but we're going to skip count by fourths, just the same. But this time, instead of saying improper fractions or unsimplified fractions, we're going to say each fraction is in its simplest form. Okay, so let's try. One fourth. One fourth. Half. Half. One half. Good. Very good. Okay, so see how sometimes we can just count, skip count first and then we can go back and simplify? Let's try the same thing with fifths. It says Nolan has some pans of brownies to give to his three friends to share equally. Okay, if he has three pans of brownies and he wants to share them with three friends, how many brownies, how many pans of brownies will each friend receive? Let's first draw a tape diagram. I want you to write in your notebook tape diagram so that we can draw a tape diagram. He has three pans of brownies. So here's his first pan, second pan, and third pan. Go ahead and draw that. You can't see it on the board, but in just a moment it will show up. Now, we can label this three pans of brownies. And he wants to share equally amongst how many friends? Three. three. So one pan to one friend, another pan to another friend, and a third pan to his third friend. So how many pans does each friend receive? One pan, right? Now what number sentence did we just do? We did three pans of brownies divided by three friends equals one pan each. Yes? Okay. Okay, now Nolan still wants to share brownies with his friends. He still has three friends. But this time he only has one pan of brownies. How many pans of brownies will each friend get? Well, this time for the tape diagram, we only have one pan of brownies. And he has to share it equally amongst three people. So each friend gets one-third of a pan. Now the number sentence, we have one pan of brownies, and we want to divide it by one third. Oops, nope, we want to divide it by three, okay? Here we know, based on what we know about fractions, that equals the numerator over the denominator. So each friend will get one third of the pan. Yes? We can also think in our heads, and I want everyone to write this down, that one third is the same as three thirds. So is one divided by three the same thing as three thirds divided by three? Is that the same thing? And if I have three bananas and I want to divide it by three, how many, what does everyone get? One banana. If I have three pans of brownies and I want to divide it by three, what does everyone get? One pan. If I have three books and I want to divide it by three, what does everyone get? One book. If I have three thirds and I want to divide it by three, what does everyone get? One third. Okay, so therefore it confirms that three thirds, which is the same as one, divided by three is the same as one third. Nolan still has brownies, but this time, I mean he still has three friends, but this time he only has half a pan of brownies. Okay, so we are trying to figure out how many pans of brownies each person will get in this case. So this time, does he have a full pan of brownies? No, he only has one half. Okay, let's cross this part out because he doesn't have this part. He only has that left hand part. Now, if he only has half a pan, and this is one half here, and he wants to share it amongst three friends, we have to divide this half into thirds. And let me just divide that half into thirds too. So when I do that, 
one piece is how big? It's one section out of a total of how many sections? Six. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Okay, so we know that each friend will get how much? One sixth of the pan. Of a pan. But let's write a number sentence. This time, how much brownies are we starting out with? One half. One half of a pan. And we want to divide it equally by how many people? Three. Three. Okay. So our number sentence then is one half divided by three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I want you to write down. We need to think in our heads that one half is the same as three somethings. Because we're dividing by three, our divisor is three, we want to have three equal parts to give to each person, right? Mm -hmm. So we can think in our heads one half is equal to three what? Six. Six, right? Based on what we know about equivalent fractions, one half is equal to three six. So one half, written in words, is equal to three sixths. Write that down. So here, instead of writing one half divided by three, can we say that this is the same as three sixths? divided by three, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And remind me again, if I have three bananas and I want to divide that by three, each person gets one, one, one what? One banana. one banana. If I have three dollars, I want to divide it by three, each person gets one dollar. If I have three books, I want to divide it by three, each person gets one book. One book. If I had three thirds and I divided by three, each person gets one, one what? One third. If I have three sixths, and we're going to divide it by three, each person gets one sixth. one sixth. So do you see how that's the same as this answer what, right here? One sixth? Okay. Back to Nolan and his brownies. He still has some brownies. He still has three friends. This time he only has one third of a pan of brownies. So if we draw our tape diagram, that's, if that's one whole pan, he doesn't have that. He only has one third of a pan. Okay. And he has to share that third equally by how many people? Three. So we have to divide that third into three equal spots, or three equal pieces. And we're going to divide the rest into three equal pieces too, just so we can see what fraction that one piece is. By doing that, we can see that this section is one out of a total of how many pieces? Nine. Okay? So we think that each friend's going to get one ninth here. But let's write a number sentence. What's our whole this time? How much brownies are we starting out with? One third. And we want to divide that equally by how many people? Three. So this time we have one third divided by three. Now let's think in our head. We know, how, do, how can we want to know that one third is three of something else? Because our divisor is three. Does that make sense? So one third is the same as three what? Three, three ninths. Based on what we know about um, equivalent fractions, we can say that one third is equal to three ninths. So let's rewrite this problem. Instead of writing one third, what can we say? It's three ninths, and we're writing it in word form here. Three ninths divided by three. Okay, remind me again, if I have three bananas and I want to divide it by three, each person gets one banana. One banana. If I have three books, I want to divide it by three, each person gets one book. one book. If I had three thirds and I divided it by three, each person got one third. If I, huh? If I had three thirds divided by three, each person had one third. When I had three sixths and I want to divide it by three, each person got this time I have three ninths and I want to divide it by three, so each person gets one ninth. Okay, so that's my answer right here, one ninth. When we have one fifth divided by two, what is our whole? What is our divisor? Do we have a unit fraction divided by a whole number? Okay, let's draw a tape diagram to get us started. Okay, so if that is one, are we starting with the whole thing? No, no our whole is one-fifth, so we have to split the one into how many equal sections? Okay, go ahead and do that. Okay, now we're talking about just this one-fifth over here. We want to divide it into how many equal sections? Two, so please do that. Now, also divide the other fifths into two so we can see what fraction that is. Now, this one section here is one out of a total of how many sections? Ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's one out of ten, or one tenth. Now, when we want, want to write our number sentence, we already have one fifth divided by two, but we want to think about equivalent fractions. This time, I didn't give you a numerator or a denominator. We want to say that one fifth is how many equal parts? 
2 because our divisor is 2. Okay, so this time we can write that 1 fifth equals 2 of something. 2 of what? Tenths. tenths. So write the whole unit form. 1 fifth equals 2 tenths. The tricky part here is not finding the equivalent fraction. It's knowing that you need the top to be 2. So before we move on, or this number to be 2, before we move on, I want you to explain in your own words to your partner, the person sitting next to you, if you don't have a partner, talk at a group of three, how you know how to do this equivalent fraction part. I can rewrite this. Instead of writing one-fifth divided by two, I can say that that's equal to two-tenths divided by two, huh? And when I have two-tenths divided by two, what does that equal? One-tenth. So today for your work, in order to have complete work, I need to see this with the words written out. 